Okay, well, despite the hiccup, we got the Turgrid. So that's kind of cool. And now we can pick up a few. Oh, actually, Draugr's Helm. <clears throat> this is not a snow creature. No, all right, cool. Yeah, all right, cool. Draugr's Helm it is. Um, well, <laughs> so we started the draft. I highlighted Turgrid, and I was like, I want to take the Turgrid. <clears throat> it looked like something else was highlighted. Thank you. And then the draft crashed. So... Like, the, the MTG client crashed, OBS crashed, everything crashed. And, um, thankfully we're back, and we took the card we wanted, and we can just keep getting blue cards. Dan's welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, oh wow, that's a late Surulf's Packmate. I will gladly take a fourth pick Surulf's Packmate. <laughs> All right, let's just hope it doesn't crash again, I guess. <clears throat> Did you see the Bluetooth speaker I posted in the Marvel channel? No. Post it here, and I will look at it. Okay, well, this is nice, because we can take the Woodland Chasm, which is literally second Woodland Chasm in a row. And it goes well with uh, all the cards we've taken so far, so that's cool. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow, that's really sweet. <coughs> um, Nothing in this pack is super decent. Might just be Skull Raid. Oh, is this discard too? Oh yeah, we're definitely taking Skull Raid. We got, we got Turgrid, so. Yeah, it was loud for me too, buddy. Loud for me too. <clears throat> Won't you guard my sleigh tonight? And then you shout it out with glee. Uh, I've been enjoying this format a good deal. <clears throat> so, there you have it. There you go. Oh, wow, that's a late Feed the Serpent. Jeez. I mean, I'm definitely taking this Feed the Serpent. Priest is cool. Jarl is cool, but... Thank you. Hmm. Hellstorm Valkyrie is interesting. It's probably Horizon Seeker. Ba RPG Badgerus. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. 33 months. That is a good amount of time. I'm going to take Horizon Seeker. I don't think we're a Valkyrie deck. Um, Grim Draugr, huh? Oh, uh, let's take Raze the Draugr. What is she, a human? God? Okay, so we're probably not going to be able to get two creatures back from that. Um, <clears throat> mill three cards, turn a lantern. Okay, I'll just take the, the not vold recluse. Thank you! I don't hate Dogged Pursuit. I wish this was the Black Green Land. That'd be pretty sweet. GM Miller, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Badger, it feels like more than 33 months, right? Double Dogged Pursuit. <laughs> yeah, Turgor is sweet. I agree with you. This pack, not so sweet, though. 
Man, can't even get a can't even get a snow land. It might just be replicating ring, really. I mean, I don't care for a second Grim Draugr. Uh, I don't care about a funeral longboat. I don't care about the Sentinel. I think it just might be replicating ring. It also provides snow mana, which could be relevant. So. It's not, it's definitely not exciting. My husband thinks we should allow our pets to share our bed. I finally gave in. After ten minutes, our goldfish finally settled down. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh dear. These packs have not been exciting. I mean, second picking a ravenous lindworm after a first pick replicating ring is not where you want to be, but. Lindworm has definitely proven itself to be a a force in this format. Oh, Vengeful Reaper is fine. <clears throat> it's basically just a uh, Vampire Nighthawk without lifelink. My buddy keeps asking me to blow cool air on him when he gets hot, and I don't like it. I'm not a fan. <laughs> God, it's so hard. I don't want to laugh at these, but here we are. <clears throat> mm -hmm. could take another actually let's take the Elder Fang Disciple oh actually Spirit of the Aldegard could be decent but we're not like black green snow we're just kind of like I think I kind of like just Elder Fang Disciple here. I don't think we're really taking advantage of the... Uh... <clears throat> we're not really the snow deck. I don't think you're cut out to be mime, son. Was it something I said? Yes. <laughs> Did you try meta challenge event? No. Um, it might just be 2-2. Two, two. <clears throat> eh, I mean, Guardian Gladewalker is fine, if unexciting. Ooh! <clears throat> I don't know if this is any good. You can put an L from your graveyard on the battlefield. Um... It's actually not terrible if we have, like, five fives. Put one card on each elf whenever an elf attacks. This turn, target card. Eh, you know what? I mean, it's, it's got to be better than every other card in this pack. I don't think we're going to be Path of the World treeing in this deck. <clears throat> um, Kind of fine with taking a Mass Vandal. It's just a nice guy to have. It's also an elf. So that's cool. Sure, come on. <clears throat> what are my choices? Yes or no? Oh, Badger, it always surprises me that you're not actually a dad. You have so much ammunition. Wow, this is a lot of dogged pursuits. I think we have three in the sideboard. How many is too many? Eh. Sure. <clears throat> Zombie berserker. Fact of the day, not all special effects are high-tech. Some of the asteroids in the Empire Strikes Back 
are potatoes and one of the ships in Return of the Jedi is a gym shoot. That's hilarious. Wow, last pick Dogger Pursuit to go up to four. That's kind of cool. Um, I think Elven Bow is actually probably the best card in this pack. These have been pretty underwhelming packs to open. Second fact, Alan Turing once invested uh, in, invested what would now be 14,000 pounds in silver bullion, which he buried at Bletchley Park for safekeeping. After the metal increased in value by 80%, he went to dig it up only to realize he'd forgotten where he'd put it. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's still there. God, Alan Turing, man. Couldn't catch a break. <clears throat> um, is it just Coma's Faithful? We do have kind of a, a minor elf theme here. We got Harold Unites the Elves. We have... Okay, we don't have that much of an Elves theme. Maybe we just have a card that interacts with... Yeah, these packs have not been great. I think it's just Comus Faithful here. I don't care about Shimmer Drift Veil. I think it's just Snow Covered Swamp here. Eh. It's a Demon Bolt. <coughs> Wither Crown's good. Works quite well with uh, Turgrid. But I mean, how many things do we have that care about snow? I think it's... Um, is it just Grim Draugr right now? Actually, it might just be Grim Draugr. In which case, I think I'm just taking the second Wither Crown. Huh. Well, I think we're definitely taking Feed the Serpent here, but Furry is nice. I don't care about it. Eh, Elderly Mentor is fine. Where's the. Actually, we haven't seen any of, of the 5 5 Grizzled Boys. Oh, another Sorrel's Packmate. That's pretty good. Easy, easy game, easy life right there. Um, well, this pack's also pretty rough. I'll just take the three one that we can play. I do like a broken wings. Yeah, Yarl's fine. Also, bound in gold, Berg Strider, and depart the realm in this pack. Uh, I've enjoyed the format quite a bit. <clears throat> I mean, also, like, we have one, two, three, four, five of these are two drops. I mean, you know, in the sense that we can, uh... foretell them. I mean, it feels like we have a lot of removal, a lot of interaction, so. Another Jarl? I think that's probably fine. On this day, in 1870, the U.S. Army establishes U.S. National Weather Service. Interesting. I didn't know the U.S. National Weather Service was established by the Army. On this day, 1943, Joe Pesci, American actor, was born in Newark, New Jersey. Wow, Joe Pesci's... Almost 80? That seems insane. Dan Snacks, thank you for saying so, buddy. I appreciate you.
Eh, way down seems fine. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Someone was saying that um, Funeral Longboat's been pretty good for them. Thank you! That's interesting. This is 42 cards. Oh, what up, Super Fritz? On this day, in 17 Dickety 6, the Bober army fought the dreaded Barbobbly Boos in Mordor. Wow, in Mordor? That's wild. Uh, save and exit. I want to go check out the store real quick to see if I missed something. Oh, oh yeah. That's the good gold deal. I'll spend 50 to get 550. Um. Meh. I like that I was like, I'm just going to leave this. Let's resume. Where am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Resume this. Then go over here. Okay. What am I doing? Black and green. <laughs> you put an elf or a Tyvar card from a graveyard on the battlefield. Is this any good? I don't think this is actually good in our deck. How many elves do we even have? One? Maybe we have two elves. Yeah, that's not great for us. I actually kind of like replicating ring here because it does ramp us to five and six. We need one more cut. Good, good. Could just be Elderleaf Mentor. <clears throat> I'm really surprised we only saw one Ravenous Lindworm and we also saw only we saw none of the five fives for five. Oh, one last really cool fact. Fax machines were invented in 1843. Samurai era ended in 1868. It's possible that a samurai used a fax machine. That's amazing. That's hilarious and amazing. And we'll take out the Elder Leaf Mentor. How many creatures is this? 14? That seems fine. Plus a raise. Get two wolves back. That seems good. All right, we'll see. What do you call someone who points out the obvious? Someone who points out the obvious. It's very obvious. Uh, yeah, this seems good. I almost kind of want to, I want to suspend this guy first. I'm going to keep saying suspend instead of foretell because that's just how it goes. So if we draw one more land, we can go uh, turn four 
replicating ring and, and flash out the Jarl. Right now we're going to put this guy. Play your own Jarl? Sure, that's fine. Alrighty then. So what's more important? I think it's more important to put this guy in the zone and keep up Jarl for next turn. Because if I want to trade with one of these two, I want to trade the Jarl for them and not the pack mate. We hit the, the Turgrid. Well, they hit Poison the Cup, so that's nice. That's a card I don't have to deal with in the future. Also, if we hit another land, we can go Horizon Seeker and Seralf's Packmate. I mean, that is if it's... Um, Actually, we have the Serpent, so I guess it's not necessarily hard to deal with. I still think I'd rather get their last card out and play Packmate. Packmate's gonna prevent a, uh, a damage either way, so. Okay. That was a good choice, especially with Raise the Draugr in our hand. All right, well, I feel like we're on the, we're on the road to stabilization here. I'm doing this now because I don't want to deal with Arena's weird timing where it's like, oh, you let him go to combat and exile a card, so I'll just do it now. Some people always need their opinions validated. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Gosh. Let's get Vigilance, too. No, just indestructible. I kind of want to hit a land here. They're at 27. If we attack with this guy, they take three. What is this, three? Yeah, all right, so we can go. Withery boy. I thought this guy was a 4-3 for some reason. Yep. Well, at least they can't get their dragon back. That's really the important part. Zombie Berserker. So we can actually get two zombies back, which is pretty sweet. Oh, 
Oh, also we can just make them discard it by blocking with, uh, we can get two clerics back. That seems good. Badger, I've been all right, actually. How about you, buddy? How you been? How you been? So we got six. We can go two elf. This guy and this guy. It's just the Robinsons of Fail. Start Japanese classes. What's the actual sport, I wonder? Also, congrats on finally starting the Japanese classes, buddy. I know you're looking forward to those. You'll get out of Australia in no time. Well, pandemic withstanding. They just keep getting this Jarl back. It's fine. Put on an open train with your cookies. So they don't have enough to do anything. Play the old Not in the Olympics, of course. I'm not that good. Buddy, I'm actually consistently impressed by how uh how much you're lifting. So let's save that guy for next turn. So now I wish I played ring and then and then suspended this. That's poor mana usage. Three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> the reason we play this now is if we draw a ravenous lindworm, I want to be able to play it and not have to trade with their Jarl. So. pretty good. Badger, you should probably keep doing it as, for as long as it makes you happy. That's literally the, I think that's the, um, oh, I think they forgot about the reach.
Yeah, the only time I'm not winning is when I'm losing. You got it. Well, that's pretty good. Just play it. Just run it out there. Was this equip cost three? So one, two, three. Where are we putting what is this plus one plus two right might as well put it on the big boy give him that three turn clock i might just flash in yarl if they don't play anything and then we can just alpha so they go to four automatically they block Four, three, three. They take two more. They go to two, but then we're, they're losing this guy, this guy, and this guy. Well, really. I mean, do they have another Jarl? <laughs> My turn. Okay. It's all making sense now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure eventually Bruce is going to kill them, but... We have a full play set of dogged pursuits. That's kind of hilarious. It really makes me wonder if we should just play all four of them. Don't care about broken wings. Yeah, I think this is as fine as it is. Are you winning, son? Oh, this hand seems good. Seven. Turn two, turn three. This with Wither Crown is nice, right? I don't even know what either of those cards do. So, Nicholas, don't you work in 
in the literal Magic the Gathering industry? So this is a fair trade, right? I'll easily do this. I haven't read a magic card in years. Huh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. That was interesting. Two Horizon Seekers, huh? Oof, they hit their Poison the Cup again. Love it. I help develop tools. Like cow tools? I don't know if the 4 or 5 is better or the lantern is better. It's like 3 damage a turn and then like more than that if they like... Plus we have enough removal to like... because I have nothing else to do on this turn, so. Nothing back? Oh, you get the land back. Sure. I want to do this first because I don't want them to just sacrifice the shepherd after I activate it. So. Wow. See, that's it's a hundred percent better value to just leave it on play in play. You take a point now, but then next turn I activate this, you can just sacrifice it, so you're saving yourself two damage. Like, this seems like a fine block. We have Ravenous Lindworm and Feed the Serpent. So, wow, negative 30. That does not seem like a reasonable temperature. It's like 40 here, I think. Alexa, what's the temperature? 33. So this is just a 6-6. Six, six. We gain 4 and take 2, so we, we go to... Or we take 6, so we go to 15. I think I'd rather play Lindworm here. This is an easy 6. I mean, it's fine. We also have Feed the Serpent to kill the Egon. So. No blocks.
think we just put it on here. This guy is death touch, so it doesn't matter if we block and pump. Uh, we're just going to keep this up. Next turn we have this. I think we can just trade here. I don't think we're too concerned. What can we raise with the Draugr? Two human warriors. Elf cleric, zombie cleric. We can get the two clerics back. Oh, I guess we just run the game. That was fascinating. Put that on your worm. Well, one down. Actually, I have my window open a little bit because I like the fresh air, but it's getting a little chilly in here. I guess 38 degrees will do that to you. This hand's not exciting, but we got lands, we got the things, so. I wish this was a Sorrel's pack name, but what can you do? Hold on, let me close this window. And then he was gone. It's getting, it's getting frosty in here. Oh, well, Glade Walker. Not the most exciting creature, but that's okay. Thank you! Oh, what up, Steven? So, Frank, when are you visit Australia? Um, well, probably not until after COVID is not a thing. Sure. And I mean, I know COVID is not a thing for you guys as much, but, um, you know, I don't even know if they'll let me go to Australia or not. But I actually love to go to Australia. That sounds great. Well, Japan is the trip I was taking with, like, Katie and Mike and everybody, and, um... That is something we have on the agenda. But, again... This guy's got Menace, right?
Yeah, WandaVision's been fantastic so far. some solid plays here. Good grief. You got it. Let's get those last two out of here. Hmm. Narfi. Yeah, the deck seems great. Wow. I can tap Reaper down and attack for a million. Yeah, Badger, we should still plan up to meet up in meet up in Japan when when that's a thing that we can do. Tacking, tapping down my four, four. You got it. I feel like no attacks is probably correct. They have a lot of cards that we're having a hard time dealing with, including Icebind Pillar and Path of the World Tree is very good as well. We're definitely bringing in Broken Wings here. Yep, that is the correct play. Uh, I mean, like, there's no point in attacking with this guy. They block here, block here. They just get this guy back. What a Palliser Stone. What up, Dance? Again? Hmm. 
fascinating. If such a value going on, this guy's impossible to kill. This guy gets you a free card every turn. Path gets you two cards. This taps down anything. Like, their deck is very good. See how we actually win this. Really? Broken wings. Oh yeah, the five color decks are fine. Like it's definitely an archetype. I mean, Pac-Man really holds this hand together. Shuffle. Solid program. It's truly random. It's true randomness. That's why it worked that way. You just don't understand true randomness.
This is actually incredible. <laughs> this is like fucking amazing. Ten lands, three spells. Totally normal. Eleven lands, three spells. This is fantastic. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, 12 lands. 12 lands. Five lands left in my 24 card deck. Sure, I'll block, you'll play Jarl. This is amazing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can actually play an Ulmog. Cool. That was a weird attack, but okay. Where was all the one power creatures in our deck? Sure. Oh boy. You got it. Wow, double path of the world tree. Seems good. Oh good, a horizon seeker. That'll do it. That'll, that'll win us the game. I'm gonna keep playing lands because if we draw a Turgrid, I just wanna be able to activate it as many times as possible.
It's okay, guys. They only have five cards in their hand. This is exhausting. Seems good. On the bright side, it made them take a damage. So can't really compete with that. You got a nice doggo on the side of the field and the opponent does not. I guess I can't argue with you. Nice. That was a solid land. Not only does it give us a black source, but uh, turn one's where you want to play that bad boy. So. Vengeful Reaper. Hmm. Well, that just seems good. Let's get in there. I mean, one of these guys is going to die, right? Okay. Angel Cleric. It's a Cleric, too? Man, so many Clerics. I'm always tempted to Skull Raid here. Like, they have three cards. I think being able to get, like, if they go land creature next turn. I don't know. This just seems better getting two cards out of their hand. Yeah, see, that felt better. So we're gonna have three left over, so we can go ring. 
wither crown on this guy. Oh. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, I guess I was one shy. That guy's got menace, buddy. That is not gonna work the way you think it works. out quite well for you. Come on, feed the serpent. Man, even this guy's lethal now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if a way down's any good here. I have 14 creatures. I mean, it probably kills most of the cards in their deck. Deck's fine. Yeah, all right. I'll just submit like this. I mean, three foretell cards and a masked vandal. That seems fine. I do need a black, but. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, it's going well. Three, two. See, the thing about this deck is like, I feel like we're, but the, the deck we're playing against, I feel like we're, our goal is to just stay alive long enough to, uh, to crush them with our good late game. And I still think next turn Skull Raid's pretty good. Like, without having a ton of pressure on board, if we can put two cards in their hand, or, you know, leave them with two cards in their hand, rather, it seems pretty okay. Next so we can go Draugr's Helm. Pitched 5, 4, and 3, 7. 
I mean, not having to deal with those in the future is pretty decent. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm probably just gonna feed this guy. Actually... I think we just Yarl. We have two Yarls. This guy. Trading is easy if you just have the same prime technique. I see. I mean, are we just playing, are we just trading Jarl for Carter twice? That's pretty hilarious. It's Michael B. One card in hand, huh? When it dies to a creature and opponent controls I'm sure. We're just gonna play this guy. I don't know why I should have played this sooner, but um it didn't occur to me that they probably don't have anything to block this or anything to like for this guy to actually like uh affect. When you do it deals three damage to any target. Well, that's comical. And just sack their two and come on one three. Sure. So we're gonna have to discard something next turn. I think it's probably Kuma's Faithful. The lifelink is nice, but I'd rather have Elven Bow, I think. And... Holy shit, that's amazing. Give me that way down. Okay, that's not bad.
that's a yikes for me, dog. Definitely should have waited till post combat to play that, but. Probably gonna kill us, unfortunately. Yep, they get a dragon. It's actually not bad. Um Go to a six here, right? Like it's pretty good. I mean, Yarl makes it impossible to block with Dread Rider. Like Dread Rider just can't block anything, so they're definitely taking six here. Mm, still has menace. <laughs> that has not changed. Oh, they didn't activate. Oh, they might not have enough mana, which is pretty good for us. If we just play Yarl here, like, they're just dead, right? Aren't they dead anyway? We'll see. All good game. Here. Oh, got him. 2 1. The typical record. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Show me some love on the on the twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore or the YouTube. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for the support. Hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful Kaldheim draft. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.